हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ क्लास नंबर थ्री ऑफ द एक्सट्रीम बिगनर सीरीज़ फॉर ब्लेंडर इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी लर्न अबाउट द डिफ़ॉल्ट इंटरफेस ऑफ ब्लेंडर इन टू डेज क्लास वी विल लर्न हाउ टू कस्टमाइज द ब्लेंडर इंटरफेस अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर प्रेफरेंसेस एंड हाउ टू सेव अ कस्टम इंटरफेस दिस वे वेन एवर वी स्टार्ट ब्लेंडर वी विल हैव द इंटरफेस डेट वी सेव्ड एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन we have different areas or panels just like in the previous class i provided you the name of all the areas or panels such as this is the 3d viewport this is the outliner and this is the properties panel as you can see each panel or window have a button located at the top left corner when you click on this button a menu with additional options for different panels or windows appears from this menu you can select any window to replace the current one for example if i click on this button here on the timeline and then click on 3d viewport the timeline window will be replaced with the 3d viewport if we want to have more than one viewport we can add more viewports like this now if i want the outliner here i will select the outliner now i will add the timeline back here again if someone wants to have properties instead of the outliner or the outliner instead of the properties we can do it like this now i will set it up just like it was before you can increase or decrease the area of any window by placing your cursor on the border until it changes to an arrow cursor then you can click and drag to resize the area when you place your cursor on the corner of any window the cursor shape will change then you can click and drag to add a new window afterwards you can change that window to any type you prefer you can also perform a vertical split with it similarly by clicking and dragging from the corner of one window to another you can merge them you can also perform all these actions with a right click when you place your cursor on the border and it changes to an arrow cursor right clicking will bring up options where you can perform actions such as vertical or horizontal splitting and adding new windows and then you can click here to switch to any window you can also merge areas by right clicking just click join area and then click on the side of the window you want to merge with i revert back to the default interface you can customize any interface that suit your workflow and you can save that interface this way whenever you open blender it will start with your customized interface if you don't save the interface you will not find it when you reopen blender and you will have to customize it again for example if i create a custom interface here let me create one and if i don't save it when i open a new file the interface will have disappeared and i will only see the default interface again however if i want to save my custom interface i will first create it according to my preferences then i will go to the file menu and select defaults and clicking on save start of file this will this will save the interface i created you can see below that the start of file have been saved now when i open a new file the same interface i saved will open 
if you have saved a custom interface but want to revert to the default interface you can do so by going to file then defaults and selecting load factory settings this will reset blender to its default interface if you want to ensure that the default interface loads every time you open a file you can save the default interface by going to file then defaults and clicking on save start of file in the same way the workspace buttons above correspond to different interfaces for various tasks each containing tools and interface windows related to that specific task for instance there is a workspace set for modeling sculpting uv editing shading and animation among others you can customize any workspace interface to better suit your needs you can delete any workspace button by right clicking on it however if you delete one by mistake you can bring it back by clicking on the plus icon and selecting the desired workspace layout you can also rename these workspace buttons to do so double click on the button you want to rename and you will be able to edit its name additionally you can move them to the end by clicking on reorder to back or similarly you can move any workspace button to the beginning by right clicking on it and selecting reorder to front so this way you can create a custom interface in blender according to your work and you can save the interface i hope you understood today's class i will come back in the next class with more blender related knowledge until then take care